Chaplain Anthony Kelly here. Today I want to talk to you about the power of decision. Many of us do not know who we serve in this world. We flounder around and we're, we're back and forth, vacillating, and we really live our life day to day for our worldly pleasures. But as a Christian, I follow the Christian Bible. And the Bible tells me in Joshua chapter 24, verse 15, choose this day whom I will serve. As for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. What is it that you serve in life? Or whom do you serve in life? Do you serve yourself and your id and your ego and your wants and your desires and worldly pleasures? Or do you serve the God of money? Do you serve your job? Do you serve the things of this world for worldly pleasures? Who do you serve? The Bible tells us that there is no salvation apart from that of having a relationship with Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, for salvation is found in nobody else except through Jesus Christ. There's only one way to be saved, and that is a personal, intimate relationship with Jesus Christ by faith, acknowledging who Jesus is, that He is our Lord and our God, our Savior, that saves us from our sins by His blood, that he died literally on the cross for us and you believe in that and then you acknowledge that you're a sinner and you repent of your sins and you acknowledge Jesus forgive me God Lord God forgive me for all of my sin I want to lay them at your feet I want to crucify that sinful nature and live for you Jesus as you confess him with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord you acknowledge that by the waters of baptism, by death, burial, and resurrection, symbolizing and spiritually spiritualizing the fact that you want to live for Jesus and his likeness of his death, burial, and resurrection. So when you rise up out of that water, you too have the newness and promise of eternal life as you live each and every day in holiness and righteousness for the Lord. But going back to my original question, as it says in Joshua, choose this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. I want to further illustrate this with a magic trick. Now, I have two coins. One is a copper English pence. It's kind of like a penny, a little bit larger than an American penny, right? They no longer use those because you got the euros. And here you got the American half dollar. And we don't really use the American half dollar much anymore either, do we? I want to put both of these in my hand. I want to show you the power of decision today. Who do you want to serve? Do you want to serve yourself? Do you want to run after worldly pleasures that amount to nothing? Do you want to seek after riches in this world and money and manna? Or do you want to serve Jesus Christ? The choice is simple, and yet it can be so hard and difficult, can it? I'm going to close up my hand. I'm going to take, let's say, the English pence at first. I'm going to take out the English pence, and I'm going to put it to the side. Now, what do I have in my hand? I should have the American half dollar, correct? I put take, I only had two coins. Take out one. I should only have one left, right? Simple math, right? But not when you're doing magic tricks. When you do a magic tricks, you also have two coins. I have the English pence and the American half dollar. I put them both in my hand again. So I have them both. Now, maybe I might want to do something for fun and take out the American half dollar. Let's see, I'll take out the American half dollar. I'm gonna put that to the side. What do I have in my hand? I should have only the English pence, correct? Well, power decision says sometimes it's not always that simple, correct? It's not always that simple. So I have both coins. Now, I'm going to put them both in my hand again. And say for fun, I'm going to take out the American, uh, the English pence for fun. How's that? I'm going to trick you up. The English pence. Now, I'll put that to the side. What do I have in my hand? Now make a decision. What do you think I should have in my hand? The power of decision. Decide. Well, sometimes it's not that easy, right? It's difficult for us to decide. Well, I have in my hand, there again, the American half dollar and the English pence. I put them both in my hand. 
And I'm going to take out the American half dollar again. Okay? Here's American half dollar. I'm going to put it to the side. What do I have in my hand? Now you got to decide. Well, I should have what? The English pence? Wrong. I have the American half dollar. This all goes down to the point that we need to make a decision in life. Who is it that you're going to serve today? You're going to serve the Lord God Almighty? You're going to serve yourself? You're going to serve drugs and alcohol? You're going to serve money? You're going to serve sex and pornography? Whom is it that you're going to serve? As for me and my house, I choose to make a public declaration to serve Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Jesus said it to his disciples, or asked it, Who is it that you say that I am? And that's when Peter declared that good confession of faith, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the Most High and Living God. So today, I encourage you to make that decision for Jesus Christ. Choose this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. May your life be filled with God's goodness, grace, and blessing. In Jesus' name.